this part four of the Langchain RAG application in JavaScript. We're creating a RAG application using Langchain.js. In the previous step, step number three, we tested our LLM, our LAMA3 model, and we got a response back from the model. So let's move on to the next step, which is all about loading a PDF document. So uh, let's see what's changed. Uh, first of all, we have a new import statement here, uh, two import statements. One, it's a native node um, uh, module, the path, and we have a PDF loader, which is a special Langchain uh, component. Um, it's part of the document loaders category of components, and it allows us to load PDF documents from our um, file system. So make sure to run npm install if you have not already done this to install these um, uh, npm packages. And then before running this step, let me go through the code to see what changed. So first of all, we added a new parameter to our constructor. So basically we want to, pa to pass a, a file path uh, for the PDF document that we want to be loaded. So we added a new parameter here uh, and we're storing it in our class, in a class property called PDF document. So when we instantiate the class, now we're not only passing uh, a, the Llama, the model, but also the PDF file. This is uh, a small smaller version of the original PyCharm documentation PDF. In the in the original demo, there was like a, a large um, uh, PyCharm documentation PDF, which is really, really big. It's around 174 megabytes. It's uh, it's okay you will, if you want to test it, but for these first steps, I would uh, prefer to have a smaller version that will work, make the work, uh, the, the code work faster. So this is just uh, the first 10 pages of the original documentation. You will find all these PDFs in the materials. So here you have like the big full documentation for PyCharm, which is around 174 megabytes. And then these are like the first 10, 20, 30 pages if you want to test with a smaller PDF. So um, this is the path to our PDF. It's found in the in the parent directory in the materials folder, and we're passing it here as the second uh, property parameter. Uh, this file name, this file path ends up here. It gets stored to the class property, and then we uh, we execute we execute the init method. In, in immediately after we instantiate the class, we, we call the init method, which in turn um, calls the, this chat model, which as we saw in the previous steps, just loads the model. And then it goes one step further and awaits for this asynchronous method to uh, complete. So this is an async method. We, so we need a wait here, and we also need async on this init function. This is why we need a special uh, initialization um, a method, and this is why we cannot use the constructor, because we cannot use a wait uh, inside the constructor, because we cannot use async. So this will await for this method to complete. And let's go and see what this is happening here. So we're using the PDF loader. Uh, to load the document that we just passed in through the parameter. So we want to pass this string right here. Uh, and then we have a node path join operation here. So this basically says that grab the, the current uh, directory name uh, through which the, the current script is running, connect it with this file path and give us the uh, the directory, the full directory that we will use to load the, the document. So all this together just loads this document into memory and uh, then we store it in this variable. Um, and, and this gives us back a, what is called a PDF loader. And uh, then we need to use a wait here and run the load method on the loader to actually uh, grab all the data from the PDF and uh, convert it into uh, documents. 
and we store it in this document. So basically we're loading the PDF, we're um, uh, converting it into a special document object. This is how Langchain works with, with text. It has this notion of a document, so it's basically like a speci special structure that contains the text content and some metadata. We will see it in a bit. And, and after this step is finished, we will have all of the documents, all of the PDF contents um, as a series of documents in this uh, property. So let's see what's going on. Um, we will need to use a wait here because init is also an async function. Uh, so it's an asynchronous function, so we need to put a wait this time um, to uh, wait for the asynchronous init to finish. And then once we get the PDF, uh, apart from the from the model and apart from some other properties that we had from the uh, that we saw in the previous steps we will also get a documents property that will contain the documents uh, added let's run the code and see what we get back so uh, first of all we will see the number of documents that we got back after this uh, pdf loading so you will see that we got nine documents. So the PDF um, was split into nine documents. Um, and then we can pick the first of these documents and see the page content. As you can see, this document contains a page content property and a metadata property. The page content is just the text of the, uh, of the, uh, of the document. Um, so basically this is like the first page, the first document corresponds to the first page of the PDF. We can double check this by going to the materials and uh, this is the PyCharm Mini. So PyCharm 2024, AI Assistant, generate documentation with AI. So you can see all this has been converted into text and it's part of the first document. And this document ends up in here so that's up to um uh, i guess here so the uh the document just contains uh the document contents up to this point uh, and if we go to the second document we will see the next um series of, of text the metadata contains some special metadata for this document so basically the original source so this is the, the pdf that we we grab this document from some pdf information uh, the total pages of the pdf and so forth and we also get the page number so uh, this is the first page from uh, the document um, now you can also try and, and get some information for the second document and see what comes back so we have, uh, you know, configure PyCharm file type associations. So uh, it skipped the code. As you can see, this um, uh, this PDF loader skipped this part because it's it's just an image. It doesn't contain any text, so it cannot really do anything or convert this image into a text. And it went into the third page. So uh, there's just one page missing from the PDF because it doesn't contain any text. So this is this page, file tab associations, um, and you know all this all this data is contained in this second document. Um, so that's why that we get nine pages because one of them, one of the pages of the PDF contains no text, just an image, so it's it's skipped. Of course there are ways to convert an image into text, but we won't go into this. Um, so that's how we um, end up with this uh, PDF loader and we're ready to go to the next step and split these documents into smaller chunks um, that uh, are going to be used by the LLM. So um, thank you for watching, I'll leave any comments below and make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next step.